What is up guys, Brad Mirror bringing guys another Pokemon Sun and Moon moveset strategy guide. Uh, this is actually going to be for our Lolan Nine Tails. So if you guys are hyped to get into this, um, feel free to drop a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future. Um, that'd be awesome. Uh, just gonna hop right into this. Uh, Alolan Nine Tails is probably one of the probably the best uh, Alolan forms of a original Mon. Uh, regular Nine Tails uh, being from I think Gen Three, so. Um, probably one of them with the most potential and probably got the best uh, out of all of them, to be honest. Uh, I know there's some other good ones like, um, I guess Alolan Marowak is pretty decent, but I think it's probably the best Alolan form. Um, uh, Alolan Ninetales, uh, being the ice and fairy typing, they actually give it ice fairy typing uh, from its original fire typing. Uh, regular Ninetales actually uh, has the uh, 76 in attack. And they actually tracked it down to the 67 and put nine more into the speed stats. So we're actually base 109 now, which is awesome. We are no more base 100. Uh, base 100 speed tier is kind of bad for the regular nine tails. For, as for our Lola nine tails though, the base, uh, 109, uh, lets it outspeed a lot of other things. Um, definitely with the, uh, 109. It's outspeeds like things like Garchomp, whereas, um, at base 100, it would not outspeed Garchomp, it would die. Well, actually, with base 100, it would be fire type anyways, but, um, if it was still base 100 and ice fairy type, it would still get outspeed Garchomp and get decimated by a poison jab. Um, being the ice fairy typing, ice is really not the best typing. Uh, four times weak to steel, you're, you're weak to poison, which is very common right now. Uh, the steel, again, very common, just because there's so many fairy types running around, especially with the top who's running around as well. Everybody's running poison type moves. Everybody's running steel type moves. This thing gets completely decimated by Mega or Mega uh, Metagross. So I would recommend like running like a bulky uh, or fast hitting uh, sweeping fire type, maybe like an Infernape or something like that, just to get rid of like those fire types and steel type or get rid of fire or the uh, I'm getting mixed up uh, the steel types and maybe like run like a psychic type or something for um, poison types and stuff like that. Um, as for the stats, again, base 109 speed, 100 special defense, 81 special attack, which really isn't the best. 100 special defense is eh. 109 speed is very nice. It's uh, speed of base 105 and 100, so that's nice. Um, as for two abilities, uh, Snow Cloak, uh, which is just a regular ability. Uh, hail is active. The Pokemon's evasiveness is 1.25 times immunity to hail, so you get a 1.25 evasiveness buff. Um, so you're a little bit more evasive. Um, as for the hidden ability, which is probably going to be the best ability for this thing, pretty much every time you're going to be running the snow, snow warning, just because it's that damn good, and it really what makes this mod what it is. Uh, snow warning on switching, it summons hail, so you get the hail effect. Um, this first set is probably going to be the most common set. You can also run probably like a life orb or maybe like an e belt with this set as well. But for focus sash, it's probably the best. Uh, you also are weak to stealth rock being part ice typing, so you might want to actually run like a defog or a spinner. If you're going to be running this thing on your team, because uh, it is weak to rocks, so just a note to mention. Um, one of the best moves, being that it has the snow warning, you get 100% accurate, accurate blizzards, and being in a base 110 power stab special type move uh, in the hail, this thing is going to be doing insane amounts of damage. I think uh, snow warning and blizzard is what makes Nine Tails or Lola Nine Tails very, very, very good. Um, you're getting this high base power move and you'll be able to spam it pretty much uh, whenever the hail's up as well. Uh, you also get the Moon Blast, which actually is an egg move. Just note that as well. Uh, moon Blast. Base 95. It's just decent damage. Uh, probably one of the strongest fairy type special moves. Um, it's not the strongest. Uh, Psy Shock. To deal with poison types, I guess you have like nothing really else to deal with them. On pawn switching, you can pretty much Psy Shock them. I kind of wish the thing actually gets psy or Psychic. Um, but it gets Psy Shock instead. So you can deal with things like Chansey and stuff like that, I guess, as well, if uh, they want to come in on you. Um, Hidden Power Fire, mainly just for, like, uh, stuff like Ferrothorn and stuff like that, um, that you'll be seeing. And mainly just, like, stuff you really can't hit with any of the other moves, like bulky steel types, mainly. Uh, that's what Hidden Power Fire is for. Just pretty much try to take them out while you can, otherwise you're going to get pretty much bodied. Um, EV Spread, Max Switch Attack, Max Speed, Run the Timid. Uh, this thing is pretty much a gar or, or, uh, <laughs> not talking in this video. Um, a Garchomp check, uh, basic for this whole thing. Uh, this thing just pretty much 
If you send this thing on a Garchomp, the only way it's really going to be killing you is if it's Scarfed. Uh, otherwise, you really don't have to worry about Garchomp with this thing. So it's a very good Garchomp check right now in the meta, which is running around rampant. So um, Next set's actually going to be Choice Specs. Uh, run the t uh, pretty much the same EV spread as the last one uh, with the Snow War and Choice Specs. Uh, being able to spam Blizzard with the Choice Specs, you're going to be getting an insane amount of damage off. Uh, with the Moon Blast, and pretty much the same moveset as the last thing like when I went over. Uh, for the reason I did. Uh, kind of straightforward on this set. Uh, that's why I'm only going to go over it very quick. Now this year is probably, again, one of the things that puts Alolan Ninetales above most of the other Alolan type mods. Um, introduction of Aurora Veil. This is absolutely awesome move. Um, if you're in the hail, which we get natural snow warning, snow warning for our hidden ability, uh, for five turns, damage to allies is halved. Hail only. So you get a reflect you get a light screen on the same turn for five turns. So I don't know, I'm not quite sure if this is actually affected by light play. Uh, if it is, that's kind of broken for 10 turns, or I think it's eight turns. Uh, eight turns of Aurora Veil. Insanely good. Uh, you can run the Icy Rock here as well if you want like a snow team. This, I just put it on the set just because for BP, uh, or not really BP, but just to, as an example. Uh, Icy Rock to get m more, uh, Snow, if you wanted to, you can run something like a, a Sand Rush, a Lowland Sand Slash, or like a Bear Tick or something, which is kind of common with these, with Lowland Nine Tails right now as well. Uh, again, these two moves, pretty much a standard move, Moon Blast, Blizzard, No Brainers, both very high, hard hitting stab moves. And the last move here, you can run whatever you want. This With the EV spread of this thing, it's max HP, max speed. You're able to outspeed pretty much everything and kind of live hits and stay around as long as you can. Granted, if you have rocks up, it's not really going to be staying around that that long, just because it takes 25% every time you switch into rocks. But, as long as you keep the rocks away, this thing can stay around for decently long. Uh, as for other options, you can run something like a support, like maybe like an Encore, if you're something like going against like Stealth Rock instead of a Stealth Rock, you can Encore them in, force a switch, predict the double. Uh, disable is also very good. You also run a Jota here, if you want to outspeed stuff. Uh, Calm Mind, I guess, but I really wouldn't recommend Calm Mind, just because uh, you're kind of frail still, even if you try getting set up. It takes around about three Calm Minds to kind of start getting some stuff rolling, some stats to roll. Um, freeze Dry is also a good option, which I kind of want to mention in this video as well. Uh, Alola Ninetales does get access to Freeze Dry, which actually is super effective on water types, so that's very nice. And four times effective on things like Mantine and uh, Gastrodon and stuff like that right now, so that's nice. Uh, do get ice hex as well. If you have something like a toxic spike setter or something you want to use, nasty plot, ice shard. Uh, even though ice shards are not really going to be doing too much uh, with a shitty base attack, but just for a priority, you can run roar as well. I guess toxic. Not really too much else. I guess maybe if you want to run like charm, uh, traps is also kind of viable. Confuse ray wouldn't really run it just because it's got a nerf in this gen. Uh, down to I think 33%, not 50% this gen. Uh, Grudge is also very good if you, I guess, want to lose the target's PP. I guess if they like kill you with like a bullet punch or something, you can like grudge it or something, or like a steel type move or something. You can probably use that. Uh, well, there's not really much else you can really use if you want to attack onto the set. It does get Sheer Cold as well, which is honorable mention. Uh, and for this last set, Choice Scarf set, kind of uh, common sense as well. I think the two, the two most common sense I've been seeing right now is actually the Either the Sash or Slash Life Orb set, or the Choice Scarf set. Um, let's see, speed a lot of things like the Lotties right now as well, which is very nice. Um, if you're playing uh, Pokemon Go, you want to show it on it. That is uh, not really in game, but uh, again, pretty much the same moveset and the reasons why I went over. It's kind of straightforward, and instead of running Timination, you can get away with running Modest here, because you're going to be getting a lot of outspeeds here as well, uh, even not running the Timination. So you may as well go for the max switch attack if you can. And run the modest here. That's probably what I would run as well. Um, again, snow warring, be able to spam those blizzards. Very, very nice. Just look out for stealth rock and priority, uh, steel type moves. Mostly priority in, in general. Uh, just because you don't have the best defenses. But on that, Alolan Nine Tails, probably the mod that actually got an alternate form with the most potential. I really do like this thing. It actually is one of my favorite Lola type mods. And I do think this thing has a lot of potential in it. Pretty much showing. I think the thing's actually going to be a top tier Yu Yu mod, in um, my opinion, when this tiers actually do separate out once Pokebank does get released. 
Uh, either UU or probably like maybe RU. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be top tier UU though. It's just that damn good. Especially with the snow warning and shit and, and typing. Very, very good. Um, let me know some stats you guys do run as well in the comment section down below if I did not go over them. Other than that, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. See you guys next video. Peace.